How powerful are orangutans? Orangutans are the largest mammal to live on trees, but their size isn't their only distinctive feature. They are also known for their red fur and their long and strong arms that help them swing from tree to tree. More often than not, you'll see them spending time eating fruits and relaxing instead of engaging in fights. But that isn't because they're weak. In fact, they might just be one of the strongest animals out there. So, just how strong are they? So let's get right into it. Before getting into details, let's talk about some simple yet shocking facts about an orangutan. The average bite force of an orangutan is 575 psi, and their arm strength for lifting is 500 pounds or 226.8 kilograms on average. This is especially more shocking when you consider the fact that on average, an orangutan weighs only 73 to 180 pounds or 33 to 80 kilograms and is only 3 to 5 feet tall, which is around 1 to 1.5 meters. So I think it's safe to say that orangutans are very strong apes. Not only can they lift around 3 times their own body weight, but they also have a very powerful bite. Why are orangutans so strong? Their strength is majorly concentrated in their arms. They use their forelimbs to travel and swing from one tree to another, so of course they need strong arms for that. And of course, if an orangutan has a heavier body mass, it will need more strength to swing and grip a branch while jumping from one tree to the next. So the bigger the body size, the stronger the orangutan. That's why female orangutans are usually less strong than male ones because they have a lower body mass. You can say that orangutans build up strength in a similar way as humans do with weightlifting, except they lift their own weight. On average, a male orangutan can lift more than twice of its own body weight. Besides muscle strength, the arm length of an orangutan is also long. In fact, to make it clearer, the arm length span of an orangutan can reach up to 8 feet. To give it a clearer perspective, the average weight of a male orangutan is around 73 to 180 pounds, which is 33 to 80 kilograms, and their height, on average, is 3 to 5 feet, and that is around 1 to 1.5 meters. But besides having strong arms, an orangutan is also known to have a really awful bite. Like I mentioned, the bite force of an orangutan, on average, is around 575 psi. But just how strong is 575 psi? Well, to compare, it's only a little bit weaker than the average bite power of a lion. And a human's bite force is only around 200 psi. So an orangutan's bite force is more than double of our bite force. This strong bite helps orangutans crack the shells and seeds of the fruits they feed on. But that's just for fully grown adult orangutans. Now let's take a moment to talk about how strong baby orangutans are. Well, I'm sure it doesn't come as a shock to know that baby orangutans are a lot weaker than their parents. Their body starts to develop its strength from a very young age, but among all other great apes, the development period of an orangutan is the longest which can actually last up to 10 years. But even then, orangutans have enough strength to support their own body weight and cling to their mother's backside or her stomach while she swings from one tree to the next. But I have a more interesting and an easier to understand way to perfectly explain just how strong orangutans are. Let's compare their strength to our strength. How strong are orangutans as compared to us humans? Well. Get ready to be shocked because if we talk about body strength, orangutans are 7 times stronger than humans. So if you ever find yourself in a head to head with an orangutan, you probably don't have a chance of putting it off or defeating it. Let's just hope that situation never arises though. Anyway, to further compare the strength of humans with that of orangutans, it's interesting to note that these strong apes can lift a weight which is 2 times heavier than their own body weight and they can do that without any effort. In fact, an orangutan can easily lift almost 500 pounds. That is around 225 kilograms. Considering the fact that even the biggest orangutans only weigh 200 pounds or 90 kilograms, that's at least two and a half more than their own body weight. On the other hand, Sure, some of the strongest humans can lift a similar load, but there is a whole lot of effort involved for that. 
In fact, only a professional weightlifter will be able to pull off such a performance. If we talk about an average human, he probably would even struggle to lift more than 100 pounds over his head. To give it perspective, an average human being weighs around 136 pounds, or around 62 kilograms. So yes, an average human can't even carry their own body weight. Compare that to an orangutan that can actually carry twice its body weight and you have your answer. This amazing body strength of an orangutan comes from their highly developed arm muscles. It takes 10 years for the body of a baby orangutan to fully develop and trust me, in that long time their muscles develop the most. In fact, the forelimb mass of an orangutan is actually double the forelimb muscle mass of a chimpanzee. Yes, a chimpanzee. Besides body strength, the bite strength of humans is a lot weaker than orangutans as well. As we know, the average bite strength of an orangutan is around 575 psi. But on the contrary, the average bite strength of a human is only around 162 psi. Now that we know the body strength and bite strength of an orangutan, let's answer another question. How strong is the grip of an orangutan? Well, on average, the strength of an orangutan's grip is around 600 pounds or 273 kilograms. There are no scientific studies to back this, but anecdotal evidence suggests that some of the largest orangutans might have grips even stronger than that. And well, that could easily be true, considering orangutans live on trees and are easily able to hang on the tree using only one hand, despite their huge body weight. Now let's compare the strength of orangutans to some of the biggest animals we know. First off, let's see who's stronger, an orangutan or a chimpanzee. I've already mentioned that the forelimb muscle mass of an orangutan is a lot greater due to which orangutans are stronger when it comes to lifting and gripping. However, on the other hand, when it comes to hind limbs, chimpanzees are stronger. But that's the only thing where chimpanzees are on the top. Otherwise, the bite strength of both the ape species is the same, and in terms of arm spanning, chimpanzees have a shorter arm span. To compare their strength using some numerical figures, the average bite force of a chimpanzee is around 550 psi as compared to 575 psi of an orangutan, which is often considered similar. However, the average lifting strength of an orangutan is around 500 pounds or 226 kilograms as compared to only 250 pounds or 113 kilograms of a chimpanzee. Also, the grip strength of a chimpanzee is only 440 pounds, which is around 200 kilograms. However, the grip strength of an orangutan can be as high as 600 pounds or 272 kilograms. Last, but definitely not the least, the arm span of an orangutan is 8 feet as compared to only 6 feet of a chimpanzee. If we talk about size, both orangutans and chimpanzees are known to have similar height and weight, and both species live on trees, but they both have different behaviors due to which orangutans are stronger. You might be wondering, what do I mean by different behavior? Well, in a study done to investigate the forelimb muscle dimensions of orangutans and chimpanzees, researchers ended up finding that chimpanzees mainly travel on the ground. On the other hand, orangutans spend pretty much all their lives in trees and they rarely even descend to the forest ground. So of course, they spend a lot of time swinging and carrying their body weight, which makes their lifting strength and grip a lot stronger than that of chimpanzees. And considering orangutans use their forelimbs for movement and swinging, they also have longer arms with stronger developed muscles. That explains the longer arm span of an orangutan. However, even though chimpanzees are clearly the weaker option, that doesn't mean they can't defeat an orangutan. In fact, it's likely that a chimpanzee would win a fight among the two. Like we concluded, the bite strength of the two is the same. Yes, the lifting strength would put orangutans at a huge advantage, but chimpanzees are a lot more aggressive, which would give them an even huger advantage in a fight. Now that we know a comparison between chimpanzees and orangutans, there's an even more interesting question to answer. Who's stronger, a gorilla or an orangutan? Well, over here, orangutans would lose. They're a lot weaker than gorillas. In fact, gorillas are the strongest species when it comes to large apes. Not only are they a lot larger in size, but their bite force is also stronger than that of an orangutan. If, by chance, a gorilla and an orangutan end up in a tug of wars, there's no way an orangutan would win. Talking about numbers, the weight of a gorilla is twice that of an orangutan, 
and the average bite force of a gorilla is around 1300 psi, which is more than two times that of an orangutan. In fact, the bite force of a gorilla is even more than a tiger. However, when it comes to lifting strength, both gorillas and orangutans have the same strength and can lift about two and a half times their own weight. Of course, gorillas are the strongest ape, but orangutans are the second strongest and can easily defeat a human or a chimpanzee in terms of strength. So one question remains, why? Why are orangutans so strong? Well, it's all a result of their habitat and their lifestyle. They rarely ever come down on land, so pretty much all the time they're swinging from one tree to another. In fact, that is their primary way of locomotion. They also climb trees vertically so they can reach fruits. Of course, all that requires a lot of strength, and that's why most of an orangutan's strength is concentrated in their forelimbs. Even though female orangutans are weaker than male ones, even then, they can easily support their weight together with the weight of their child while swinging between trees. And with that, we end today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, let us know which animal strength you would like to know about next. Feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace out and have a great day.